everyone in this video we will see how to access UGC approved list of journals and what is UGC care list of journals and everything about it basically we should understand what is care here okay that is consortium for academic and research ethics UGC that is University Grants Commission they have established this to maintain the reference list of quality journals which we can use it for our publication purpose so once you log in in this page like once you enter this page you can see that you have UGC approved list of journals okay you can simply click here which will redirect you to an another page here you can see you have a cloned journals okay so we should be aware of what are the cloned journals because that will similarly look like the original journal we will discuss about the clone journal in a different video so now let us proceed how to search the UGC care list journal in UGC care list okay here you can see that you have uh, um, UGC care list of journals and uh, here they have like when they have uploaded you can see the recent public notice about the list of journals okay so here if you want to access the UGC list of care here you have that UGC care list group 1 and group 2 so click here group 1 so here you have to create your username and password that is you have to create a login ID to enter into it so let's create it first so click here register here and you can select what is the salutation and what is your first name and email ID you can give okay and get the email ID password you can you have to give the combination of uh, upper and lowercase okay the last name okay and you have to give the password again to cross check it and you have to check the gender and you have to give the mobile number and you have to give the capture which is entered here zero this o l two g okay and address for correspondence like you can give simply give the address of correspondence here and click submit okay so once it is registered you can just um, give your username password and click i'm not a robo and then click login okay now if you click here uh, it will redirect you to the UGC Catalyst group 1 journal okay you can see that you have two groups of journals so one is like if you want to uh, see this is not like a based on this is not ranked based on the hierarchical uh, groupings okay so this is like um, UGC 1 and UGC 2 get this is journal indexed in globally recognized database okay group 2 whereas the group 1 journals found qualified through UGC care portals okay so you can just go to group 1 and cl just click search it will show you uh, whether whether you have to search based on the title or ISSN or the publisher subject and language of publication so probably based on the subject will be very easy and useful for us okay so if you want to search through the if you know the ISSN number then you can probably search through the ISSN number and if you know the title because in few times in few conferences you no know, they will put like they'll be mentioning like it's a UGC it's listed in the UGC care so if you want to cross check that you can come here and cross check with the title okay so now let's see how we can search for the commerce subject okay okay just click commerce and click search so no journal found okay fine so again we can just go to the search okay group one search group one or recently added journals okay let's search based on the search group one and then here you can just give title subject and you can give like management 
okay even here they have segregated okay see, see this is a science social science arts and humanities multidisciplinary and indian languages so if you are very specific about it you if you know okay so then you can go on search here so in management i have this much that is you have nearly uh, 65 entries okay so it's just showing only 10 entries like you have african journal of accounting auditing and finance aims journal of management okay and you can see the issn issn number as well e issn and issn okay so you can click here and see and also you can see the action okay here they have discontinued this journal is discontinued from september 2019 that too you can notice here okay so they have uh, uh, please before proceeding with any journal just note note everything just see what is the status of that okay so what does that issn mean this is international standard serial number this is E because since we are accessing electronically, then it is EISSN or else this is ISSN which is printable version. Okay, so if you want to check with any any journal, for example, if I want to check this Colombo Business Journal, click here View, it will redirect to an journal details page. Here you can see that what is the journal title and what is the publication language and what is a, who is the publisher, what is the ISSN number, discipline and everything and once if you click here the link that is the Colombo journal link it will redirect you to the link page okay so here you have to notice many things like once if it is the home page you have to see how how many the, what is the frequency of the publication okay that is very important that is how many issues they are publishing per year okay so it is published twice a year only on june and december okay because you know if it is only publishing like a twice a year then you should be very uh, clear whether to choose this or not because you know they will take more time to review the paper and send uh, um, the status of your paper because it's only publishing for the june and december okay sometimes you know um, they may also re reply you immediately like a frequency and they will also give you the proper response okay so here in the left side you can see what is the author guideline so here you in every almost in almost every journal they will give you like what is the guidelines for the author to prepare the manuscript okay like um, sometimes they may give you the template direct template you can download the template and edit on that in few journals they will just write up they will give us a write-up you can just simply write it you, you have to format your your article according to that okay and uh, this is about author guidelines so uh, what this is about for the reviewers okay and uh, you can see the policy and ethics like uh, how the process will be okay so once you have submitted to the review and how the initial screening will be to wh whom it will be uh, the the uh, the paper, your manuscript will be sent to and you can see what is the what is the overall thing okay and you can see more about the plagiarism okay plagiarism is the presentation of another academic work so they will tell about what is the plagiarism and every um, uh, manuscript which is submitted that will be plagiarized okay and how you have to um, how you have to manage your self plagiarism okay that might be you might have written the same sentence in your previous some published paper how you have to manage that okay this everything you have to be very clear before uh, before selecting the journal to publish okay and what are the types of publish they are they are uh, accepting so they are accepting conceptual paper literature review papers there is a survey paper perspective paper so they are accepting these things few journals will not accept um, literature review that is a survey paper they will not accept so you have to check that too okay and uh, the next one is like online submission you have to submit online either you can uh, mail okay you have to send the mail okay so when you have to submit thus you can see it here so all new submissions to the colombo journal between december 10 to 2020 and january 10 okay and they will acknowledge the process by jan 10 2021 to allow for an year and end vacation okay got it 
so you have to submit this before this timing and they will tell you what is the uh, what is the status of your journal what is your uh, status of your manuscript okay this also you have to just see in few journals you may have to submit it online by creating the login id and password so that you have to just ensure and in few journals uh, they may ask you to submit they may ask you to um, submit through the mail id itself okay if you want to see about the editorial board who are all working over there you can see here and uh, if you want to contact then you can contact them there okay so this is how they are publishing so you can see and if you want to know about so sometimes they may uh, they may so aim and the scope you have to see and what is the fees okay cbg does not charge any publication does not charge any submission processing or publication fee so this is very happy news for all the management um, domain researchers okay you can choose colombo business journal where uh, you can submit and publish it for free okay so this fees and everything you can check it and i think you have almost um, uh, three months to prepare an article okay you can submit it okay that is what they have told here you have to submit by this see this is for 2020 so apply this for also 2021 okay that you can start uh, submitting the paper from december 10 2021 and january 10 2021 2022 okay so they'll be acknowledging it back got it so this is one journal so this is based on the management journal and you can just check okay and you have in the science publishers you can see that who is the publisher okay you, then you can navigate through the next next pages and you can see who is the publisher over here so here you have general journal of uh, business research so i'm just going to click here view the research click here and you can see various um, you can see the various information about the journal here this is the sage journal okay it is always advisable to check the home page of the journal so that you will understand what uh, what how they are uh, publishing there is a publish publication frequencies and what is the charge whether they are uh, asking for any publications charge or a processing charge okay uh, so you can see all these things here okay here you can see what are the latest article and then you can just go go through the complete home page to check how that journal works okay click here about the journal where you will be redirected to the journal home page so always check the journal okay what is the journal description journal host scope submission guidelines okay so that is very important here got it okay so now I'll also tell you like how if you go, just click here research go to the group 2 where you can also see what are the group 2 um, list of journals you have art science and social science citations search click search and you can check based on the um, based on the options given here okay multidisciplinary will they will they will be accepting any subject okay any domain area they'll be accepting so you can simply go here and search for like apni mati like that you have various uh, options you are, that which are available here so see if that particular journal is listed in scopus so they'll be showing here that is it is indexed in scopus okay so here uh, you can simply select and see how it works so um i'm just uh, trying to see something different okay i'm going to see here view here so all the uh, thing are same okay like how you have to view in few journals they may not give they might not given any link okay so in that case you should be very careful okay see if you see in the first uh, one which we have yeah indexed in scopus here you don't have any link for the journal okay so anyhow what you have to do you have to copy this uh, this heading and then you have to paste it here okay but you should be very clear whether you are seeing the original journal or the cloned journal so ensure that <clears throat> so this is the journal here you can see like what is all about the journal here because this journal is run by a university so 
what is the frequency publication frequency you can see that the magazine is half early and normal frequency of publication issue that is july august and january february this is half early like as one we discussed in the previous journal okay and then you can see more about it like when it is started and it is a peer review okay you have to read it about the journal okay that is very important and if you want to know more about it you can simply click here advisory board editorial board guidelines for the writers so this is what uh, about uh, how you have to man you have to write or you have to design your manuscript so that is what they have given here so all these things you can see here okay Great hope. I hope you you had some knowledge about what is a UGC CAR journal and how you have to see that and you can also see check the cloned journals here. Okay, that is also possible. And if you want to add your journal into the UGC CAR journal, then you have to download the journal submission form and write about your journal and uh, the details about the journal and submit it to the UGC CAR. If they really likes your journal, then they will give you a short notice about it. So friends and research scholars whenever you try to search for the UGCTR a list of groups journals and anything so be careful be careful about the clone journal and uh, all the best for your research work